Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did an unboxing of a mystery package that I got from Batch Stoves. In it I found two of his bottle stoves, his BS1 and his BS2. Uh, today what I'm going to do is a boil test using the BS1 with the 22 fluid ounce ultralight Heineken pot foster pot replacement. On the other video I got a comment from um, Mato Nupai where Mato Nupai said Hiram said something incorrect. The bumps are not to stop a tight seal on the flat pot they're to reduce the contact area to stop cold pot flame outs. Colorado Camper used nails in his stoves for the same reason. Now I'm sure this isn't the first time that I've probably said something incorrect but I do try to keep it to a minimum but then I guess turnabout is fair play. Now on these bumps that are on the top they can be both of us are right to a certain extent these can be used like I said for keeping you from getting a tight seal on this and then the pressure building up in here forces the alcohol out but I've seen where people are doing this to try to keep the cold contact from the, on the stove the cold pot of water on the stove putting out the flames it'll be interesting to give that a try when it gets cold out I may try it here with the cold water see how fast it comes up what it does to the flames um, Mato Nupai also suggested using the BS1 with the 22 fluid ounce which is what I'm going to do today he said this has a tighter flame pattern and it works pretty good with this narrow pot some of the specs on this <clears throat> the diameter is 2.07 inches about 52.7 millimeters the height on this is 1.70 inches or about 43.3 millimeters the weight empty never having been used is 0.81 ounces or 23.1 grams all this information will be listed below fuel capacity on this is one fluid ounce in the instructions it says that the one fluid ounce would be at the bottom of this taper so right about there where my finger is if you didn't have a measurement that's about one fluid ounce so I'll see what happens when I measure that out for here it has 15 jets they look like they're about 40 thousandths of an inch in diameter that's about 1.1 millimeters and they're about uh, 0.46 inches down from the top of the pot the top of the stove rather which is 11.9 millimeters again all this information will be down below I've also given you information before on this pot this is a replacement pot for people that like to use the Heineken or the Foster pot for their travels and stuff using this <coughs> excuse me let you use the same liners and everything but replacing the uh, the beer cans this having a flat bottom is a great great point there so what I'm going to do now is I'll get my water prepped get some alcohol in here and I'll be back for a test okay my water set two cups of water setting at 60 degrees I have one fluid ounce in the stove it comes up to about the top of the threads let's try lighting it now the instructions say that it'll take about 40 to 60 seconds to have this stove come to a bloom the capacity of this stove is supposed to be one fluid ounce and it su highly suggests not putting in more than that so that's what I have on here now the fanning is just to move the flames around because there's really not much of any wind in here except my talking um, I have to kind of fan it a little bit so that the jets will catch on fire otherwise the flames will pretty much just go straight up and possibly never hit the jets okay we're working on 40 seconds let's just let this go okay that's 60 seconds room temperature is 78 degrees humidity 72 wet it's cloudy and looks like it's about ready to rain outside 
this almost caught here. There we go. Okay, so we've got our jets. Now, according to Mato New Pie, with us, those bumps on there, I should be able to put this pot right on and not have the flames die down. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. And here we are at two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad. I think you can see as the flames come out, they're hitting the outside corner of the pot and then going up the sides. So uh, I think what Mato Nupai was saying about this being a tighter burn because the diameter of the burner is smaller, uh, that it, it's able to hit the pot like this. See this going up the side? So that's not wasted space. I mean, it's still sucking in the heat there. But with the, the uh, BS 2.0, that's a wider diameter for the burner so it'll be shooting flames out here but we'll see what happens so let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil there we have 210 211 212 in 6 minutes 3 seconds okay so that was 2 cups of water 60 degrees starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in six minutes three seconds let's see how long it takes for this to run out now oops and there we have run out at 637 uh, well that was fast so yeah run out at I'm gonna check back I, I just looked down but it looked like it was 637 I'll check it on the film Okay, let's go get going here. Let's go back to camera one. Okay, that was a little, I don't know what to say. Hang on. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in six minutes, three seconds. So that was pretty fast. And it looked like it ran out at 6 minutes 37 seconds. Now one of the problems that comes in with that is, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I don't use too many of the uh, burners like this where the pot sits right on top with jets, because you waste a lot of fuel heating it up. It burned for almost a little over a minute in order to get the jets to flame, even with my fanning it. Now what could be done is wicking could be put around this, fiberglass wicking, and then you put your alcohol on that to prime it and light it from there. I think that works a little bit better. I'll have to dig some of mine out and see if I can put it on here. Uh, as far as times, I'll give a list down below of the other times that I got with this, but at quick glance here, with the It looks like of all of the things that I use, the Evernew Titanium, with and without the cross stand, Colorado's side burner, high pressure and low burner. This came out a little bit quicker, 6.3. Anyway, I'll put all the list down below. I have a feeling this really needs a little bit wider of a pot. This might even be still too much of a diameter, too large a diameter compared to this uh, Heine pot replacement. Hmm. Okay, I was hoping that that would work a little bit better. I mean, the boil time was fast, and it was kind of cool. Like Mato New Pie said, when I put the cold pot on there, it didn't seem to affect the flames much at all. So that's a that's a good thing with those bumps. But uh, just thinking here. So this is my first boil test with the Batch Stoves BS uh, 1.0. A little warm yet. That was one fluid ounce, I don't know if I said that, that was one fluid ounce of methanol in there, but uh, just the first test. So I thank Sam for sending me these stoves to play with, to test. I thank you for watching. I thank Mato New Pie for his input. And I, I think I said I thank you for watching. <laughs> I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. 
Bye now.